So just got back from my friend's house. Have all the boards cut. Now I just need to go borrow uh, some of the other friend's clamps so I can uh, clamp all these together. Um, the one gentleman that was letting me uh, uh, use his table saw suggested maybe instead of trying to do all the boards at the same time, maybe do two at a time and then glue those two together and, and, and go forward that way. Um, because I don't know the size of the clamps I'm going to be getting, so I might have to do it in the, like baby steps. So I'm going to take the hand planer and try to smooth out some of the pieces. Most of them are okay, but some of them have like these little bumps here on it, and that'll have a gap when I have the two pieces of wood together. So let's try to smooth out some of this. Alrighty, it'll be my first time using a uh, planer. I've got it set up for 164th. We'll see if that'll help take off some of the roughness on the board. did smooth it out some but there's still some low spots on here you know I don't know if when I pour the wood glue on here if that'll fill in everything so maybe I'll just take this one down just a little bit more so the good news is the planer is working the bad news is when I stopped and restarted here I made a little bit of a, a recess so that'll have to be probably the bottom part of the table it's not that noticeable. Let's see right here. Yeah, it is just a little bit, so I just have to be more careful. So this board came out better. I didn't use the clamp and stop midstream. I just held on to the board and then just changed my grip and just went forward. So that's what I think I've got to do uh, for the rest of these. So I'm not that experienced enough to use this electronic planer, so. I'm going to have to probably just do a sanding on the rest of the boards that are uneven because like this piece here when I have the um, planer come off it's a little bit narrower and I don't want to damage uh, any more pieces of wood so I'll just do a sanding uh, for the rest. So I have not glued I'm just laying some of these out they're not in the proper orientation but I just wanted to see how some of the pieces of wood looked so Yesterday when I was first trying out the planer, on the end, I dipped down a little bit. And when I started it, I guess I did. I can actually take out two boards, um, because I had an extra board just in case I messed up. And then, I think this one is bowed, although I don't really have this clamped down, but I'm going to take a look at it again. And then I think this was my first one. It's got a little waviness, so I'm going to run these through my little table saw and just try to, you know, stand it up on end and just try to take like a sixteenth off or something like that, just in case I do have to use these two boards. Um, all right. Now, when I was planing yesterday, I messed up, and you can see where this is a little bit thinner than this piece. So... I'm going to be running it through the table saw. If you come down here and look, when, when you grab the end when it comes out the other side, I don't want you lifting it up or turning it side by side. You want to try to keep it as straight as possible. So I'm going to be pushing it on that end. But see how, here, just rest it on the table and see how it can move. 
So when you're over here and it's coming out the other end, I'll tell you when to touch it because I don't want you getting anywhere near this blade, okay? Um, maybe right about here. You see this distance here? And you just lightly touch it and I'm going to push it and just lightly hold it and come up. We don't want it going side by side or anything like that. Understand? Okay. So again, I'm not a professional. This is my first time doing this. I'm glad I had two extra boards just in case something went sideways and it did. So when I was trying to take out the scalloping that I did with the electric hand planer, running it through my table saw, you can see where this is thinner and it starts to get thicker. So this piece was totally shot. And then I also need to replace the blade on my table saw too, because uh, I start, I set off the smoke detector in the garage. Um, the friend who let me um, use his table saw also has a planer, so I'll run through the six pieces that have a little scalloping on them, and then I'll start the gluing process. So I'm going to start the process of working on the tabletop now. I'll pick through um, the pieces of wood to try to find good ones. Um, I'm going to have the tabletop hang over a little bit on the bench. And one of my friends was saying I need to screw or glue, screw, and clamp everything together. I guess just with our weather down here, it's very humid at times. And he said these boards are probably going to want to twist and, and mess up. But I don't know if I'm going to do the screws. Yeah, I'll probably do the screws on the whole thing. It's just going to take longer to make the top. Um, but I definitely want to do the screws for this part. Because I was thinking about it, if I didn't, and like my son or I was hammering here and this piece is hanging off, it could separate. So, uh, let me get started. So here's this, the top laid out. Nothing's uh, glued or anything yet. I'm going to have to buy a bigger piece of wood for the backsplash. I need like a 1x6 to uh, raise it up just a little bit. Um, I do have some knots. On here there's nothing I could do about that because the other two pieces were worse off I've got one piece here which is bowed just a little bit you can see it it rising there so I'll try to flush it with the top and then I'll have to sand it down a little bit um, and then I've got a little area I'll fill in with some sawdust and wood glue and then this piece right here oh, oh sorry I'll have to do the same thing to fill in that gap all right next step so it'll be only fitting for this craftsman tool bench workbench that I have a craftsman vise on it uh, this was given to me by a friend uh, her husband had passed away uh, never got to use it um, this is dated 1990 it's still sealed in the box but I'm gonna have to open it up so I can find the template for the screw holes um, for the lag bolts um, if that's the proper term, lag bolt, but um, so I know when I'm screwing these things in so that I, I won't hit it as I'm drilling through the board to mount the vise. That's in pretty good shape for sitting in a box in a garage in Florida for 29 years. Um, just has a little bit of rust here on the jaws themselves, but I should be able to clean that up. So it's like the I would call it cosmoline, but heavy-duty grease in there. Otherwise, it's a good shape. Uh, there was no template inside of here, so I'll just draw some holes once I match them up with where I'm going to be mounting this uh, vise.